Hi everyone, this is Iris. Today I'm going to show you how to do this beautiful formal updo which can be worn half down, half up, or can be worn completely up. I am also going to be doing a giveaway in this video and the details to the giveaway are in the description bar below. The giveaway is for these little hair gems that you see. Very charming and can make almost any hairstyle look classy and glamorous. So to start off, what I did is I put a ponytail right behind my head. You can start with the ponytail a little bit higher if you'd like, but this is the position that I found was best for this hairstyle. I curled my hair and you can use any type of curling tool. You can use a wand as I'm using or you can use a regular curling iron. And then I took a section of my hair from the ponytail and wrapped it around the ponytail pinning it at the bottom and behind the ponytail. Now I am going to start grabbing sections, looping it, and pinning it to the top of my head as you can see. Then I am going to be spreading the section open. I am going to use another section and I am going to cross it over the first one, roll it just slightly, and then pin it down and spread it open as well. Now I'm going to grab a section from this side. I'm going to roll it just slightly, leaving some hair sticking out, and then I'm just going to pin it. Now as you can see, it's really starting to look like a cute little bow at the top. So you can definitely leave it like this if you want to do like a bow look on top. But I'm just going to continue rolling and pinning the hair, spreading it at the very top, and then taking sections, crossing it over, rolling it, and pinning it. And the more you cross the hair, the more layered it will appear, and also it will seem like a very complicated hairdo. So I'm just going to continue doing this, grabbing sections from the center, crossing it over, rolling it, pinning it down and then spreading it open and applying hairspray wherever necessary. Now if your hair tends to be really frizzy, you can go ahead and run a flat iron through it before you do this process. Mine usually tends to be kind of frizzy so I do have to run a flat iron through it. Next you're just going to spray it just to make sure you get all the flyaways out of the way. And then just continue to pin it the way that you see me doing. And here you can see in the back it's starting to form almost like a flower shape. That's kind of like coming out from the center back of my head. And I think it's turning out um, really pretty. So here at the bottom I'm just taking two sections and I'm crossing them over each other. And then just slightly tucking it under the hair. And then I'm going to take the ends again and then cross them over each other and then tuck them under the hair. So that's it. This is the way it's going to look if you wear it half up, half down. And now for an elegant touch, I'm going to add these marvelous U-pins into my hair which have very shiny and shimmery gems at the ends. The more you add, the more beautiful your hairstyle becomes. Now, in order to turn this into more of an updo, I'm actually going to start tying my hair at the bottom. I'm going to twist it and then I'm going to start pinning it just under that section of hair that I started creating at the bottom which was crisscrossed. With the longer ends I'm just going to cross it over to the other side and then pin it down until all of the hair is completely concealed. And once I've done this I will go ahead and check with two mirrors to see the back of my hair and make sure that the hairstyle is in place as it should be. Here you can take a look at another style of these U-pins. These here are a couple of stars. And then I'm just going to demonstrate how you can do simple everyday hairstyles using these U-pins. I'm just going to put my hair in a high ponytail and I'm going to make this incredibly messy loose bun at the top of my head. and. All that I'm going to use is a couple of the U-pins to make this hairstyle really stand out. And that's what I like about these is that it, it's such a simple style that you can wear like on your lazy days, but then just adding a couple of these makes it look so beautiful and glamorous. 
So here you can see I just added a couple of flowers in the back and that's what that looks like. And then for this next look, this is another top bun type of look which is very popular amongst us girls. I'm just going to do sort of like a very loose rope braid and then I'm just going to adjust it so that the twist shows in the front and then I'm going to pin these in to the ends of my hair and then anchor it into my head and here you can see a very simple way to make your hair look even prettier so just showing you guys what it looks like with simple hairstyles here I'm just going to kind of twist it into almost like a shingon and just add like a little bit of looseness and then I'm going to pin these in there and I love these because they're kind of like the chopsticks that you would use but it has like a much more sophisticated feel to it so I'm just adding them as I feel are the locations are appropriate and here is the finished look very cute I really like it so hopefully you guys will join in the giveaway the description is below on how to enter Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have been inspired. 